how's it going guys it's me Mike and today is another video tutorial on how to make uh, a cool banners in Photoshop now I know you guys make a lot of MySpace layouts and different Ning sites and Ning layouts and things like that MySpace div layouts and everything so I just want to um, help you guys be able to create cool graphic um, banners for your layouts so for example I've made a uh, music banner so uh, if I was to create a music layout this banner would be perfect for it because it's like these cool um, these cool speaker people speaker people they got hands and arms and their faces are essentially speakers and um, as the title is called music and it says music is my life and it's got this cool abstract uh, artistic design coming out of it as you see it's like this road to a city and it's like this this cool abstract uh, maybe a planet something in the background it's like this whole world awaits in this artistic world of music and art so I thought this would be a perfect way to show you how to make something like this alright so I got all my resources from officialpsds.com so I'll put the link in the video description along with all the PSDs that I used so if you just Get over, um, head over to the site and select PSDs. You can select a whole range of different PSDs and stock images and things like that. And um, this um, tutorials here. So if you guys need to freshen up on something, um, there's some people here posting up, compositing, blending uh, different channels and files, how to prepare your set, um, prepare your files and things like that. So um, this, this place is uh, pretty good for you uh, guys. That's um, once on Photoshop resources and everything. Alright, so I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to show you how I made this. And I'm going to uh, file new. And the banner I usually make is 955 by 489. This is for my Ning layouts. And I like to double click on my background and uh, unlock it. Double click on it again. Select my gradient overlay. And I'm going to select the cool background. Now the background doesn't really matter at this point unless you're trying to add another background on top of it like a whole nother stock image which makes this whole process you know not even relevant but you know this is what you would do to add your own gradient background and stuff like that so I'll just I just do that just in case all right so um, now I'm just gonna add go to file place and I'm gonna go look for my image that I'm gonna use uh, I believe it's in my downloads and uh, I'm just gonna go browse for it alright so here it is so it's gonna come up small but I'm gonna since I did file place it's gonna be converted as a smart object so there it is there's my image and uh, next what I'm gonna do is go to file um, go to file place again and then what I'm gonna do is select these PSD uh, graphic backgrounds maybe I'll select I'll select one first. So there's this cool PSD background right here. I'm just gonna enlarge it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. That's what it is. I'm just gonna enlarge it like that and place it over here to the side. This is where one is gonna go, and I'm gonna go file place again. And you can use the same artistic uh, PSD file or background if you want, or you can select something different. Um, I think I might just. Uh, I think I might use that same one in fact. So I'm, if I'm gonna use the same one, I'll just click on it, press Ctrl J to make a copy of it, and go to f Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal, like that. And then now I'm gonna go to File Place again and select my uh, image that I've downloaded off of PSD Arts. All these uh, images that I'm using right now is from PSD Art, PS uh, officialpsds.com. Uh, so let me see if I can find my speakers. They're called mummy speakers, and they come in a pair. But I noticed that uh, some of the edges a little needs to be fine-tuned. So what I'm gonna do is click on it, and uh, I'm gonna rasterize it. So right-click and rasterize it. And then what I'm gonna do is select my rectangle tool, and I'm gonna go draw a rectangle right in between. If it doesn't look you know right in between you can draw one right in between make sure it cuts one individual and I'm press ctrl C to copy so I'm gonna copy this selected one 
now control X to cut it that's just gonna cut it out of you know that layer now I'm gonna press control V to paste it back in so now as you can see in your layers panel you have mommy speaker 1 which is right there and mommy speaker 2 right there so now they own in their own different files and you can resize them control T to um, transform and then place it where you want it and press enter and same for this one control T and shrink it down just a bit and place it over here maybe a little bigger than that and press enter and I'm going to select our text tool and I'm going to increase it to about maybe 150 depending on your font it depends so I'm going to put music and then press enter put is my life oops too big is my life I'll put life in capital like that and then I'm just going to resize that just a little bit and uh, put it right in the middle of the road so that means your life is on the you know there's your pathway to your music and artisticness just going to increase the music because it's going to be a music banner so you want the music to stand out people can see what you're you know talking about so next we're going to go in there double click on music to give it a layer style we're going to give it a uh, drop shadow first then a gradient overlay and then we're going to give it a nice gold uh, gradient and then we're going to give it a stroke and put it to about one and uh, press ok and then we're going to right click copy layer style and apply it to my life or is my life text so it has the same text and there you go you have your cool banner um, next we're going to want to do is select that background that layer one that we started off at first and we're going to put that in front of our this whole background layer so as you can see what we're going to do is drop that fill all the way to zero and we're going to double click on that effects layer we're going to uncheck that gradient overlay and select stroke and we're going to make sure it's set to inside so as you can see in the inside it puts this stroke around everything and we're going to put that to 2 press ok and there you go so if you want you can add your own website whatever you want so I'm going to put mice designs dot name dot com and then I'm just going to drop that to about 50 oops 50 and okay maybe a little smaller that's just a little copyright although this is not my work uh, you know my graphics and stuff but you know I made this art so this is how you make your own musical background or your own banner to apply to your layouts I hope you guys enjoy please comment uh, and give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you like and please uh, Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash mikesdesigns155 and visit my website at mikesdesigns.ning.com. See you guys later. Peace.